Hey guys, Rob, Rob Outdoors. Today I got a good friend of mine, Randy. What's up? And we're gonna do a little backpacking, camping, and fishing trip. All right guys, I think it's time to go inside the tent now. Oh yeah, that'll probably be really good here. Ooh. All right, so with this here trip, it's not gonna be so much like recording and hiking. It's gonna be more so just camping, hanging out, doing some fishing, maybe a catch or cook, catch and cook. But uh, I got Randy here. He's from up north and uh, he's visiting here, Florida. And uh, we're tackling this trail again. Uh, this will be our second time together out here on this trail. We tried last year, but it was just, the conditions were really bad. So uh, we're back to set some goals and, and uh, accomplish them. So Randy, uh, you wanna introduce yourself? How's everyone doing? My name is Randy. Uh, last time I was here, took a big L, but uh, <laughs> that's all right, cause we're gonna hit Redemption Pond on the hunt for a 10 pound bass. Lock it up. So as you guys can see here, I'm very exhausted, <laughs> sweaty. We're both hot and sweaty and uh, it's just a hot day. It's one of the hottest days that we've had so far here. 93 degree uh, temperatures today and no air at all. So, I mean, max winds is gonna be like nine miles an hour and that's not gonna be till hours later and we're in the middle of a trail. So it's a lot of wind blockage. So right now it's, it's dead and the humidity is 90, 90%. So we're hydrated though, we're good. All right, so as you guys saw, we made it to the pond finally, about four miles to get here. Took us about, a, what, an hour and a half? About an hour and a half. About an hour and a half to get here. And um, before we set up camp, we're just gonna take a minute to kind of relax a little bit, chill for a minute, set up our chairs, and uh, figure out where we're actually gonna set up camp, because that's kind of important, you know, to feel comfortable wherever you're at. All right, so it's been about an hour and a half since we last spoke, and we got everything set up. So we just took our time. We had to find a good spot to set up our tents, nice even ground and, a, uh, and in a place where we feel comfortable. So we got my tent right here and then we got Randy's tent over here. Yes, he's got the same tent as me. It's a great tent. I mean, I recommend it, highly recommend it. The Lanch N1, um, they come in different colors. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna give you guys a little tour. Randy's over there chilling under his lean-to, eating. And it's not supposed to rain today, but here in Florida, you never know, it'll rain on a sunny day. So it's been overcast, it's supposed to be overcast. The humidity is very, very high, it's at 90%. And it's like 90 something degrees out, but it feels cool where we are. So we've been hearing some thunder in the distance. So there's a chance that it could downpour on us at any time. So we're just gonna play it by ear and just see what happens. What you doing over there, bro? Robin, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Redemption Pond, here we go. Got a nice little Sanko. Let you get first cast. That's a nice, nice size fish, baby. Shout out to Rob Outdoors. Less than 10 casts got this fat boy right here. Let's go. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, that'll probably be really good here. Ooh. 
That was a that was a good hit. He's got some power. There we go, guys. That's a good sized fish. Just like that first bass that you got, that big one, there's no way that was a two point. <laughs> Yo, what do you got there, Bob? <laughs> it's a bass. Be nice if it was a bluegill. You want to just throw in there? <laughs> All right, guys, update since the fishing action. It's been about, I don't know, hour and a half maybe, say so. And uh, we got some water here, more water here, and uh, purified it. I'm gonna run it through the soil filter, and now we're just kinda cooking lunch, trying to get some energy up. That way we can go pull a 12 pounder out of there, and maybe some bluegill. But change the tarp configuration where it's just like an overhead now, it's working out a little bit better. progress update guys some 7 30 p.m. fishing here got the nice sunset and uh, just slam this big guy gonna get him back in the water there we go Brandy hooked up to a freaking monster monster bass way out through there and I saw it but he ended up losing the fish but it was a big one I saw him. He was like, <laughs> and then I stopped it there. Boom! Slapped it, boy. That's a big one. Nice one. All right, guys. Got another update for you. I don't know how well you can see me with this red torch on, but uh, it's about 10 o'clock at night right now, and we have some unexpected rain and thunderstorms. So. I'm in the middle of cooking my dinner and um, I might get rained on. But good thing we got the tent and the tarp and everything set up. It's coming down right now. It's starting to pour. The lightning is just going wild. <laughs> Randy's tapping out and going to bed. <laughs> so the rain and the thunder just started happening right as I was uh, trying to prepare my dinner. So I'm gonna ride it out, cook my dinner up, and then I'll go inside my tent and uh, finish it up. <laughs> I got some summer sausage I'm gonna do with some cayenne pepper and some rice. A little bit of adobo, some sasson, salt pepper. Picked it up. 
you're gonna have bears coming in your shit when you're up north. <laughs> <laughs> I saw rain, I said no. Oh, rain. Alright guys, I think it's time to go inside the tent now. Yo, it got crazy, alright? Lightning was striking so close, it's still striking right now. I was in the middle of finishing up my dinner and um, the tarp that we had above us, the wind kicked up and it pulled one of the uh, tent, one of the tarp poles, the pegs out of the ground or the stakes I should say. And I was trying to fix it. And then the back of the tarp kicked up and then everything came down on me. My GoPro fell in the dirt, got dirt all over it. Everything got wet, my phone got wet, I'm soaking wet. And this is straight downpouring right now. So, I don't know, I'm gonna try to get dried off and everything and um, get situated. Hopefully I can finish my meal if it's not cold and all wet now. But uh, it was a mad dash as soon as that tarp came down. I was just like, I need to get in my shelter now. All right guys, so it's just now passing really. It's letting off. But this is, I wanna show you guys, this is what I got wet for. <laughs> Cooking this food. So I'm gonna chow into that and I hope it's worth it. it tastes good. All right guys, I just bit into my food and let me tell you, it was definitely worth getting wet. This is super good. Good morning guys. It's day two and made it through the night. All that lightning and thunder, all the rain, slept really good despite being soaked. <laughs> but uh, it's a nice quiet morning. It's about 7.30 or so, 7.45 maybe. And uh, just kind of getting the day started. It's nice out here, it's peaceful. So I'm gonna show you guys how the camp looks and everything and explain to like what happened with the tarp poles a little bit. So last night with the tarp poles, um, I had these fully extended. They're like 45 inches fully extended. And then I have it going to a ridge line. It's probably about five or so feet high. So pretty much the tarp is being flown in a way. And the guy outlines that I had on here last night, I had them pitched very close to the actual uh, tent tarp poles. So between the tarp being almost vertical and the guy outlines being too close once that wind kicked up it just pulled it just pulled the stakes out so when I was in the middle of finishing up my dinner last night this one came out and I was trying to fix that this one here without getting wet and then this one came out and once that happened I was like alright I'm done going in the tent so scrambled in real quick, but I still got completely soaked. Like my pants and everything completely wet. But a good thing these are really light pants, so they they dry. They're like six ounce pants. Really good pants, but um, they dry fast. Same thing with my shirt. But um, other than that, tent held up good. So yesterday was so hot 
it was like 80 degrees well into the night and um, I did the same thing as last time I just put a little stick there to raise that up a little bit to create a little bit more ventilation and then the same thing over here and obviously in the front so that helped out a lot didn't really get any splash back from that but um it was nice to have oh got my tent here and slowly packing stuff up I forgot to mention earlier on in the video that this pack here that I'm using for this trip is a new pack. This is a Nature Hike Rock 60. And um, so far I've got about 12 or so miles on the pack. I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on this pretty soon here, but I wanna let you guys know this is a different pack than I normally bring out. Just gonna whip up some breakfast real quick. Got some instant oatmeal. guys so I switched up uh, from the lure I was using to old trusty yum dinger here and uh, pulled this bass out caught a few bass but uh, I think that they're just preferring the worm today so not too bad probably about 17 or 18 inches I think all right so it's about that time to head out of here got everything packed up ready to go uh, double check in for anything that we might have left behind but it's been a good time caught a couple fish today uh totally annihilated it yesterday but uh, right now this time of day the bass are just not really hitting as hard as they were yesterday and i don't know if i had to do with that really bad thunderstorm that we had last night and then also too it's supposed to rain really bad here in the next two hours we're supposed to like dump down again so uh maybe changing barometric pressures are kind of keeping the fish a little shy today but all in all it's a good trip you know really good time camping cooking hanging out with randy getting the fishing on and just good time out here in nature so on a side note randy's going to be starting his own youtube channel so we're not really sure what the name is so far right are you 100 on the name yet not sure yet not sure yet so uh whenever this video is posted i'm sure he'll have a name figured out and i'll leave a link to his channel in the description so guys go check it out all right give him some support show him some love see ya appreciate you guys checking out the video click the like button if you can hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time